defending champs on their home court in a must win situation tonight with LeBron in town. Warriors are one and 14 all time when down three games to one. However, the lone win came in the Kerr era back in 2016. The Dubs were down 3 1 against Kevin Durant and Oklahoma City. That 73 win Warriors team lost in the NBA Finals to LeBron James, blowing a 3 1 series lead. And speaking of LeBron, he's a perfect 17 0 in his career when his teams hold a 3 1 series lead. The most wins without a loss in NBA history of those series. James' teams wrapped up those series five times in five games, I should say, 12 times, and none went to a game seven. He's seeking his 12th trip to the conference finals, and the Lakers were as many as eight games under 500 in November. Since conferences were created in 1970, there have been three teams that reached the conference finals after being eight plus games under 500 at any point in the regular season, according to Elias. They'd also be the first team to reach the conference finals after finishing last in their division. And joining us now from the Chase Center, Kendra Andrews, who's covering the Warriors, and Dave McMenamin, who is with the Lakers. Kendra, let's begin with the defending champs. All right, Steph, Clay, Draymond. They've been in this situation twice before. What are the Warriors drawing from past experiences as they look to climb back in this series? Yeah, well, Clay Thompson said they really are reflecting on that 3-1 comeback against Oklahoma City back in 2016. And he said, we're heading into tonight with the exact same mindset we did then, which is take it one game at a time, defend home court tonight, and also just enjoy the process of chasing greatness. Stephen Curry and Draymond Green also addressed the team yesterday at practice just to talk about the process of coming out of a 3-1 deficit, just how hard it is, but how much it takes. And the Warriors, they do feel confident that they can extend their season. They point to the fact that they had a double-digit lead midway through the third in Game 4, their first quarter and a half in Game 3, and then just the pure dominance they had in Game 2. They point to all of those things and say, look, if we execute our game plan, if we don't rush, especially our shots, and we keep our composure, there is no reason why we can't force a Game 6 and maybe keep it alive even after that. Kendra, thank you so much. The place will be rocking tonight. Meanwhile, the Lakers, they enter the season 18-1 to odds to win the title. Those odds were as long as 75 to 1 on Thanksgiving Day. They entered February, 40 to 1 odds. Tie with the Heat for the 13th best odds in the league. LA entered the playoffs with 14 to 1 odds, currently listed as the co favorite now at Caesars Sportsbook. It's the first time being favored all season. And Dave McMenamin has seen it all with this team, and he joins us now. All right, we just heard from Kendra talking about Golden State's experience, keeping them confident. What are the Lakers saying about closing out this series tonight in five? Well, you know, LeBron remembers the first round where they were going to game five to Memphis. They got blown out by 17 points, had to go back to win it in game six. Obviously, this Warriors team is not the same as the Grizzlies. They're experienced. There's future Hall of Famers on this roster. They have four rings to many of their names. LeBron James said, we can't be comfortable coming in here. It's just not possible against an opponent like that. And that what is why he believes they will be ready. And you want to think about another motivating factor for the Lakers coming into game game five yesterday the NBA released its all defensive first team and second team no Anthony Davis on the first team no Anthony Davis on the second team and I've spoken to AD over and over again throughout these playoffs about his intensity and pride that he brings to the defensive end I can guarantee you he's a guy who knows the analytics he knows that opponents are shooting X percent when I'm the primary defender they're sh shooting X percent when I'm the secondary defender with that level of attention to detail he brings to the defensive end I believe he'll come out looking to make a statement about all the people in the NBA who forgot about him when it came to the best defenders. Yeah, keep this in mind, too. The Lakers are currently eight-point underdogs heading into this game five. The chance to close things out and rest. Dave, thank you so much. Not alone. The MVP Woo. shocked the Celtics in Boston to take a 3-2 lead, headed back to Philadelphia. And then in the West, Nikola Jokic, he was dominant again. The Suns also facing elimination, but we're starting with a huge Huge game five in the Bay Area tonight. Welcome to NBA Today presented by PNC Bank. We have Kendrick Perkins in the building. Ramona Shelburne is here Lean with back. us. Yeah. The one done. and only Richard Jefferson. Only. It's a big Wednesday. It's a big Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, it's a big Wednesday. It's a big Wednesday.
Magic yeah. Wednesday when you yeah. were here. Uh, yeah. Let's let's talk about this. Let's dive into this game because it's enormous. We can't really overstate this. We were so hyped for this series, and it could all come to an end tonight. But, Richard, you've been on the flip side of this. Mm -hmm. You've been on a team that was down 3-1. Why is it so important that the starters don't rest, that the Lakers close this out tonight? Oh, my God, I, I love us when we have these conversations. It, it's important because, again, the way the Lakers are playing, they do have a chance. Like they 100%. You don't you don't want to go into anything being like we have multiple opportunities to win one game. That is the complete opposite of the mindset that you want. Because even if you lose a game, let's say the Warriors are the Warriors win, it's a close one. You can still leave a game with confidence. You can leave a game feeling that you learned something, that you gained something, and prepare yourself for the next game. But don't ever go in there with thinking that we have bullets to waste. That is the absolute worst idea. I agree. And when you think about the Lakers, they're two stars. LeBron James, 38 years old, year mm -hmm. 20. AD is 30, right? But he, he has a body of a 50-year-old. <laughs> and so you actually need rest. So if I'm if I'm looking at this series with Denver and the Suns, I'm hoping that it goes seven. The more days rest I get, the better for my two superstars. If I'm the Lakers, I'm approaching this as a must-win situation. Every day matters, in, in my opinion, when it comes down to AD and Braun and as much rest as they could get as possible. Right, because when you look at Golden State, even they went to seven games last series. You look at them now a couple of times. It's like, okay, is this catching up? Oh, is there any fatigue that's weighing in here? Well, yeah, even when we were fortunate to beat them in 16, they had a much harder route to get yeah, there. Right. They were down 3-1, had to go 2-7 to beat OKC that takes it out of you so mm -hmm. as the series progressed in 2016 it was they came out swinging they got but as the series progressed they started to wear down Andre Iguodala got hurt Andrew Boga got yeah. hurt people were banged up so it's really just about like get it done as quickly as possible if it takes you know six fine if it takes it but get it done as quickly as possible. Well, and that's what LeBron was saying. You can never be comfortable against this Golden no. State Warriors team. And one thing that I think back to is the famous speech that LeBron gave your, gave your team when he said, oh, they've lost it. Oh, this is when we can see a sliver of daylight. We can take advantage of this here. But the good news for the Lakers, right? Take a look at this. LeBron James, he's 31-0 and 0 in playoff series when he has a two-game lead. Ooh. Guess who the only player is with a better record? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's Kareem. <laughs> look at the magic. We'll have him in something this lot year, of didn't Lakers, A lot of Lakers There's on that. a lot of Lakers, Lakers on that. There. There. A lot of Lakers Ramona, there. Ramona, we're no both Celtics across first. the street, yep. though, for this game <laughs> four. And at least to me, it didn't quite seem like the Warriors were done. No. No, like I, I waited in that locker room a long time because I wanted to hear from Klay Thompson and Draymond Green and Steph Curry. And those three lockers are right together and they took a long time coming out. And Klay Thompson basically went back in the in the back of the locker room and watched to the end of the game. He went and watched all those plays down the end and came out, said, you know what? I probably rushed a few of those shots. I wish I had some of those back. He owned it publicly. And and then he came over to Draymond Green and said, you know, I didn't like that foul that they called on you, like the moving screen. Like, that was not a defeated locker room. That was, we beat ourselves. They had a chance to win. They beat our, they beat themselves with some shots that they shouldn't have taken. Clay was trying to do something big. It didn't work out. But if you listen to Draymond Green's podcast, like, which he comes out, it's like every day he comes out with a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, he, he said, we lost this one. We, we played really well until the last two minutes, and then they made some very poor decisions. Right. So I've been in bad locker rooms where you look at the other team and you go, oh, man, I don't know how we're going to beat them. They're too, they're too good. That Warriors locker room felt like, they beat themselves, and they're going home for game five. Well, they was lying. Like they was lying, and the truth wasn't nowhere near them. Because if they really wanted to mash the gas when they went up by double figures, they should have took advantage of that in the third quarter. Instead, hmm. the Lakers walked that down. Now, Momo, I would, I would be optimistic about what you're saying if yeah. it was coming from any other body, any other person besides Clay and Draymond. Because I'm worried, right, about Jordan Poole, his relationship with Steve Kerr. I'm also worried about, is you going to use Jonathan Kaminga in this series? No. Probably not. Like no. Cause, no. Cause Steve, and they should. No, and they should. But, okay, cool. But Steve Kerr don't trust him. But one thing we do know is that Jordan Poole was huge for them last season. Matter of fact, they don't win a championship without his play. So you got to find a way as he bought in. Like, we, we really don't know. And although Steph, Clay, and Draymond are bought in and ready and probably ready for tonight, are the others hmm. ready for tonight? Well, that matters. That, yeah. It matters because 
everything about the like these Warriors, you can't go deep into series. You can't go seven games. You can't go six games, seven games in a series and not have a bench. It has to be all Steph Curry. Like in those in those finals that you guys won, Rich, like it felt like LeBron had to do hum, superhuman things. Mm-hmm. In this series, it felt like Steph's had to do superhuman things. Mm-hmm. And all the talk going into the series is, is this the last dance? It might be. Like, it might be the last, if this team, how things end matters. Like, how, if they lose tonight and if they go out in a bad way, that matters. Now, I've been around this team a lot. I don't think it's the last dance. Just, I think they have a hope, a hopefulness about them that they can keep Draymond Green in the, right. in the fold long term, that Clay Thompson's there at, at least next year, that this isn't the last dance, that maybe it's, maybe it's next year or the year after that. But, the way they lose, if they lose, matters to the way you think about this team going forward. Well, and it it might be you can see some key contracts here a little bit naive, right, as our Bobby Marks has spelled out, to think that Draymond Green, his days with the Warriors are done because, yeah, he can decline his player option, but